myself if I was you, honey. <laughs> Watch what happens. We're gonna give you the same treatment here real soon. <laughs> yourself this gear i know exactly what it is it's got light and fire element resistance and like a ton of passive supports i mean it's all totally freaking op the holy armor of belliness the twilight cloak which gives me darkness resistance and provides mana regeneration and giving me status immunities that are based on my level the holy shield of teutatis what? The blade that strikes as fast and ferociously as the lightning it's bathed in. The Holy Thunder Sword. Collabo! It's crazy, but it's all here. Everything from my custom character that I built in Ark! Last thing I remember is falling asleep while I was playing yesterday. But... Am I dreaming? Because it feels like I'm actually holding the sword. Like, for real. Man, this thing is totally freaking sweet. All this armor should be weighing me down, but I barely notice I'm wearing it. Not even hot. Well, what am I waiting for? Gotta see how I can handle this bad boy. Let's see. It goes something like... Wyvern Flash! Great googly moogly! I don't remember the Wyvern Slash skill being that brutal in the game. Wonder if I can use magic. Fire! That'll be handy. Wait. I may be tripping, but am I like inside of the game or something? I don't know what's going on. But it all feels super real to me. Okay. So yesterday I was right in the middle of playing and passed out for a little bit. My primary job is Holy Knight with a sub job as a priest. Which means I shouldn't even be able to use a mage's fire. Oh. Maybe I'm able to use all the skills from the upgrade path to Holy Knight. That would be awesome. Because if that's what's going on... I'm like Mega OP! I'm pretty stoked that I didn't get stuck with just the Holy Knight skills. It always seemed like the devs just threw those together for aesthetics, maybe. I guess I can't call myself a real gamer if I didn't want to go and test out all my skills and stuff. <laughs> but I should probably eat first. No food on me, and no funds either? I need to find a town or something. Get it! you've already been to, but I didn't have any options available. So, I guess I need to have an actual destination in mind for it to work here. Oh yeah, there's another skill that should be good for getting around. Dimension move! Now we're talking! In the game, it lets me teleport to any point on the screen I click on. But in this world, it works as a sort of short-range line-of-sight teleportation spell. There doesn't seem to be any delay or anything. 
So, it should be a perfect way to get around. I mean, honestly, I'm having the time of my life! Ooh. Man, the rendering on that water is super realistic. Oh, crap. Kinda forgot I picked the skeleton avatar. It's cool, but, uh, I think if I show up in town looking all scary and stuff, people would freak. They'd all think I was a monster and just wipe me out. I don't know why I'm here, but it's not to become some damn Randos XP. All right. Just gotta use some stealth and not draw attention. No problem. And no matter what happens, I can't take this helmet off for any reason. Did you hear the news? There's another huge basilisk terrorizing the area. Oh, man. I really hope I don't run into that thing. Ugh. Cool, cool, cool. I seem to be fitting in so far. Brave Sir Knight, what do you say? I've got a great deal for you. Oh, I'm so sorry. I actually don't have any money on me. Well, that's strange. An impressive-looking fellow like that should have a lot of money. <gasps> Can't have a fantasy setting without the old in slash pub. Now that I've gotten a good look at everything, it seems like it's way heavier on the medieval and not so much on the fantasy element. <sighs> Whatever that is, it smells amazing! If I want to do more than sniff the air, I'll need some money. Hmm. Even in a fantasy world, it seems like a back alley is just a back alley. Listen, even if it's vague, any information huh? would be good. Man, you don't know when to quit, do you? I busted my hump looking, but couldn't turn anything up. That's all there is. Even though I paid you more than double? Tell me how that makes sense. Look, I told you I tried, but it didn't work out, okay? You paid me for my time and effort, and you knew there was no guarantee. <laughs> Friggin' elves. Always a pain in the ass. Excuse me! Holy, she really is an elf! Now that's what I call fantasy! sucks. A mercenary guild? Here we go. Should be just like in the game. I can walk in, take some quests, and get paid. Mercenary's license to do that, wouldn't I? Yes, of course. You think I could get one of those then? No disrespect, but that's a joke, right? Because honestly, it seems that a knight such as you would already have a steady source of employment. Crap! I didn't even think about it, but I guess I need to actually sound the part if I want to avoid suspicion! <clears throat> Circumstances have led me to require the license. I kindly ask that you not probe any further. Yeah, that's just fine by me. But if you want a mercenary license, you'll have to complete the trial first. Huh. Take down some beasts, or some monsters, or some bandits. You'll need to venture out and hunt three of any of those, then come back here with proof of your conquest. Ooh, monsters! Uh, oh, forgive me. It's a personal matter. So then I need only bring proof that I've slain three of those, and in return, you will provide me with the license, correct? Yeah. Not to add insult, but even the little kids around town know that. I see. Then I shall return. He seemed a bit confused. You think I'll be all right? You should leave him alone. 
Poor guy's troubled, obviously. Probably forced into being a merc to help take care of a sick child, if I had to guess. It's a damn shame. A real tragedy. Best of luck on your journey, Sir Knight. I think I just got a randomly assigned backstory. That's two down, one more to go. And then I'll eat so much food they'll have to roll me around. Gotta say, I was pretty jazzed about going on a monster hunt. But, like I said before, it's heavier on the medieval than the fantasy aspect. Hey, is that another one? Oh! <laughs> An orc! It's a stereotypical Star Trek trash bomb! <laughs> Monster I've ever slain! One or down for the count! That orc was a lot bigger than I figured. comes from a high social standing, and that must be her maid. <laughs> it's pretty obvious which direction this business is headed. Also pretty obvious whose side I should take in the fight. But these are humans, and it won't be the same thing as fighting a monster. It's less like hunting, and more like PvP. <laughs> PvP battle that gives them the advantage. Usually, if you're outnumbered, you don't stand a chance of winning. Keep fighting them off! Don't give up this! Whoa, this one won't quit moving! <laughs> oh, well. Please don't! Man, it just keeps getting worse! You scum will regret this! Do you even realize what will happen to you if you go through with this? I'd still worry about myself if I was you, honey. <laughs> Watch what happens. We're gonna give you the same treatment here real soon. Come on, Ark. You can take them. You're covered head to toe in mythic class gear. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Please don't. I'm begging you, don't hurt me. <laughs> huh? What the? Why is it so dark? <laughs> Lauren Loria du Louvierte of the Louvierte family. I am her attendant, Rita. Uh, really, ladies, it was no big deal. Uh, Sir Knight, I couldn't help but notice your armor. Am I correct to assume you must be in the service of a nearby lord? <laughs> well, that was my character's backstory in the game. 
Despite becoming a holy knight, I was stricken with the nefarious curse, and now I'm on a hero's journey across the land to find a way to return myself to normal. But for now, well, I... <clears throat> we'll talk later. For now, you should find clothing. I shall clean up the mess the bandits left. Oh, of course. Then we will leave you to it, sir. Let's be on our way. Come, miss. Alrighty. Yeah, they are bandits, but I feel bad just leaving their bodies out. At least the wildflowers shall be nourished. Fire! This is the first time I've killed anyone. Kind of surprised I don't feel more guilty about the whole thing. And again, they were the bad guys. Those horses must have been the bandits. So... <laughs> nice! They're not paying attention to me. I'm gonna lose the bodies and take their booty! Not a bad haul. That ought to cover my expenses for a while. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Oh, <clears throat> yes. <sighs> I see you two have sorted yourselves out. Thank you for coming to our rescue, sir. We won't forget your deeds. <clears throat> uh, it was truly despicable what happened. I'm not sure how much comfort it is, but I'm relieved you ladies weren't injured. <sighs> For now, though, I must be up for the town where there's meat and drink to be found! We probably should be heading back to the Louvierte household. But, um, if you wouldn't mind. Noble sir! I can't thank you enough for stepping in. If you need anything at all, please let us know. Quite all right. No thanks necessary. Luckily, I was at the right place at the right time. Her stare, it's burning a hole right through me. <laughs> One more thing. I don't believe you've told us yet what we should call you, brave knight. <clears throat> I'm but a simple traveler on a winding journey. But you may call me Ark. Uh -huh. With that, Ark's story began. And the knight took his first step, living a very low-profile life. Doing that voice sure builds up an appetite. makes three. Can you drop that license now? Uh, sure. That won't be any problem. I just didn't think you'd be back with proof before the day was over. Congratulations, Sir Knight! Care to join us for a round? Uh, no thanks. I appreciate the offer. Alas, some other time, perhaps. Hey, buddy. Hold up. You forgot to take the runestone off of this orc. Hmm. Hmm. Runestone? Whenever you kill a monster, you want to remove them from their corpse. They can be used to forge magical items and powerful weapons. By the way, here's your mercenary license. Ah, oh, yes, very good. If you're looking for any more missions, just check the board over there. Gotta warn you, though, nothing too remarkable ever gets posted. If you want to take on the bigger jobs, you're gonna want to join a mercenary guild. Excellent. And with that, everything's in place. Now, for the real mission. Excuse me. Yes, madam. Have a banquet brought to my room. Post haste! Of course. Delicious! All of it! Full of flavors and fragrances I've never had before. I'm sure it tastes even better after the wait. 
that? <laughs> it's a little warm, but the ale's great too. Got a nice and fruity flavor. So this is a runestone from that orc. So shiny. I managed to handle some quests and get some food in me too. No point trying to convince myself this is merely just a game. It's real. Since I'm in this fantasy world, there's a bunch of other skills and fantasy stuff I want to explore. And questing starts first thing tomorrow morning! <laughs> As soon as the sun comes up, Mother heads off to the field. I need protecting. While I'm picking herbs, my village can use for healing. Thank you very much. All done! <laughs> Mother works really hard to make sure Helena and I are taken care of. I owe her. Hey there again. It's me, Ark. You're just in time for my first actual job. I'm guarding someone collecting healing herbs. Oh, you want Siona's place. That way, it's right beyond the plaza. This is exactly the kind of quest I'm looking for. Dull, but meaningful. Perfect for someone trying to keep a low profile. <laughs> Race you over there. Fuck it up! This seems to be a nice, peaceful village. That must be it. What's that, Kalina? I think you've got more food on your face than you do in your mouth. Thank you, sister. Marker, 
this mission of ours, does it have a time limit? <laughs> Along with your request, the posting also mentioned famed boars. And how they've been seen near the village, thus your need for protection. But you seemed in a rush to leave. Uh, uh, actually, my mother will be coming home soon. If she knew I was out foraging, she'd be angry. She would. Hmm. Yeah, so I'd like to keep it a secret. Does it need to be? Mm -hmm. Well, you see, my father passed away last year. And ever since then, my mother has been raising me and my sister by herself. She sounds like an admirable woman. Picking herbs in the forest used to be my father's job. So I thought maybe if I did it instead, it would make things easier for her. her age the only thing I ever wanted to do was play video games actually that really didn't change once I grew up what's wrong you okay sir knight never mind me really talking to myself now let's go gather those herbs and surprise your mother right ventured quite deep into the woods. Sir Knight! Look at what I found! Hmm. This plant is called Kokora and helps if you've got cuts or scrapes. It's also very good for your skin. Hmm. Not to mention you can also burn the flower to keep insects from coming near. Hmm. You're quite knowledgeable, Miss Marka. No legible? It means you're somewhat like a teacher. <laughs> My father taught me all kinds of things, so it makes sense. If we go a little bit further to the clearing, we ought to come across the big kobumi tree. This way, come on! Miss Marka, get back! Uh? I said something. It might be... <laughs> Multi-tailed kitsune. No, a flying uh, squirrel? Uh, this creature is hurt. Yeah, that cut looks deep. Little one, come on. It's okay. Don't be afraid. <coughs> what I tell you, no need to be scared. Poor thing was frightened of us. This will be my first time trying this since I got here. Hope it works. What's that light? Forgive me for inquiring, 
But did you send Marka on some errand? I didn't. She should be at home, watching her sister at the house. We've had a report of a new monster in the woods. Then this morning while you were gone, Marka left heading in that direction. <gasps> the thing is, she was with a fancy looking knight, so she's probably fine. Marka! I don't like how steep this ledge is. If you ask me, we should find a safer route down. <coughs> hey, watch! Out? Amazing! Perfect timing! See how it's in full bloom? The Kobobi tree, it's turned all white! Hey, Sir Knight, come down here and look! <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying yourself! <coughs> it's Marka! Watch out! who caused that wound. Was this skill always OP? Or was I 
trying too hard. Whatever the case, I've managed to slay my second monster, a giant basilisk! Another notch on the hilt! You're amazing. Yeah. You can rest easy. We're safe now. Sir Knight! That was incredible! I've only done what was expected of me while serving as your guard. Everyone in town will be surprised when they hear about this. Everyone? about the Basilisk's death, a secret between us? Uh, but why? It's important. Uh, you can count on me. I won't say a peep to a single soul. You have my thanks. What's that? Some sort of ring? <laughs> may have been chased by this beast. That's why they've been showing up near your village. Mm -hmm. This oversized lizard is a whole lot scarier than any old pig. Rawr, rawr. Speaking uh. of... Straight ahead. Is that one of the fanged boars in question? Yes! I see. All right. He'll make a fine gift for the village. Take down a fanged boar single handedly. Huh? The fangs in Runestone shall be my reward. Could you see about tanning the hide? I intend to leave the pelt with Miss Marka as a gift. Do you mean it? Hooray! The meat should be shared among the villagers. <laughs> you should have seen Sir Knight. He was really brave and strong. Marka! Uh... Mother! I'm so sorry. You're not mad? No, I'm not. I'm just glad you're all right. <laughs> but whatever compelled you to go into the forest like that? Didn't I tell you never to leave the village? Yes, but I gathered these for you. Like your father. He used to. Pardon me, madam. I apologize. If there is any blame, it rests squarely on me. I took Miss Marka into the woods. It was irresponsible of me not to consult with you first. No, it's not your fault. All I ask is that you please not scold her. I've never met a child who cared more for her mother. <sighs> Dio. Thank you for protecting her. I hope you don't mind me asking, but did you happen to run into any danger? We received word from one of our hunters that there's been a truly fearsome monster sighted in the forest today. A monster? No. There wasn't anything in the woods that I couldn't handle. So I wouldn't worry. I'm relieved to hear that. You should count yourself lucky for not running into that abomination, Sir Knight. That's for sure. Indeed. Very lucky I didn't encounter it. Isn't that right, Miss Marka? Yeah. <clears throat> Safe travels, and thank you again for everything. No, I should be the one thanking you for teaching me a great deal today. exists. <laughs> Cute. Take care of yourself, Panta, and Sir Knight, too. Cute. Well, I suppose I should be on my way. Uh, uh, please, before you go. <sighs> it's just, will I ever see you again? <laughs> One day.
full tally of our casualties. 15 dead and 38 injured. Those numbers are much worse than I could have anticipated, even for an 8-meter basilisk. Yes, truly it was an extremely powerful specimen. Also, there's another bit of news. There was a second one as well? Yes, sir. Not only has it been slain with a single blow, apparently this fearsome monster was dispatched by a lone individual. Someone slayed that beast by themselves? Unbelievable. What's more, they cleaved it in half. <laughs> this has to be the work of some kind of god, or perhaps the devil himself. Well, Ponta, looks like another successful job. Monsters, huh. I should definitely continue to keep a low profile. And that remains my number one priority. Still, though, it couldn't hurt to try a more challenging quest tomorrow! One goal, to be stronger than everyone else. While the pact between humans and elves exists, it's nothing more than a farce. Their kind continue spilling over into our lands. We live in a world overrun with deceit and injustice. There's no salvation to be found, especially among the humans. For that reason, I must be a warrior. To fulfill my duty as our leader's daughter, and fight for my oppressed kindred. However, after my encounter with the Silver Armored Knight, my destiny has taken an entirely new direction. Uh, where do you think you're running off to? <laughs> accepting casual missions to cover my daily expenses. That's one group of brigands dispatched. Ooh. Well, what have we here? It seems those rogues have built up quite the war chest. Must have been up to all manner of villainy. Cages? Doesn't matter. Let's grab whatever's worth taking and head back home. Sound good, Fanta? I'm waiting, Celsica. Your report? Sir. Lord Louvierge's daughter, Lauren, still lives after the assassination attempt on her life failed. They couldn't even kill a helpless girl? Any amateur could have done the job. Besides lying about their competency, what exactly went wrong? While they were able to slay all of her escorts, apparently a passing mercenary intervened, saving her and butchering our men. A single mercenary is responsible for this mess? I wasted my money on a bunch of useless bastards. You get what you pay for in the end, I suppose. Are those beasts, the ones we received from the Eastern Empire, weren't they supposed to terrorize Louvierte villages? Well, according to our contact over in the East, apparently the creatures were still in a sort of experimental phase. Thus, the basilisks did not work well together, leading to both being slain. Even if they were separated, killing them is no small feat. <sighs> Pardon, sir, but Prince Dakaris, why is he targeting the Louvierte? How should I know? A request by the Eastern Empire, perhaps? He can't turn down his backers now, can he? The 
northern lands are crucial. Imagine if the prince controlled them. The east would be able to focus on invading the west, and nothing would interfere with their plans. I heard a rumor that the Luvierte have gained the support of the Western Empire, from Prince Sect, to be more specific. If so, should our allegiance with Prince Dakarez ever come to light, it would certainly prove quite disastrous for us. I know. The last thing we need on our plate is having Prince Sect breathing down our necks. But for now, go and see about securing our product. They need to be sent off to market soon. And whatever you do, avoid anything that would arouse Princess Yuriarna's suspicions. I understand, sir. Oh, another thing. Have any idea where that idiot boy of mine might be? You mean the Master Udalon? He relayed that he would be escorting the product himself today. That imbecile is what? He's only going to get in the way! Uh, enough. Leave me. <sighs> Every time. Why does nothing go as it should? <laughs> nothing beats fleecing the ill-gotten gains of villains, eh, hey, Ponta? Right. I say we head back to town and treat ourselves to a feast. <laughs> after I helped her out of the jail. Now we're inseparable. A human that can commune with spirit creatures. Huh. Huh? Something wrong? <sighs> Silver Knight, you are not the liar I took you for. Allow me to apologize for attacking you. I can imagine how odd the situation looked. Taking out those outlaws was actually a job. Why are you here? I heard that these bandits were running an operation, scouring around, hunting and imprisoning my people. Wait, hunting elves? Those cages. Now it makes sense. Sorry to tell you, but I chased those brigands all over the cave and I didn't find any prisoners. Then I've arrived too late. Hold on. Those bandits. What were they intending to do with the captured elves? My people fetch quite a high price on the slave market. Surely you're already aware of that. I was not. <sighs> well, now you are. Excuse me. Uh, just one moment. You see, the truth is, you're actually the first elf I've ever met. And if you could use some assistance, I'd love to offer my services. I don't need your help. <laughs> This matter concerns my kind, and we shall deal with it ourselves. I don't need you getting in my way. Farewell, Silver Knight. But I'm not... Doesn't need my help, huh? I mean, it doesn't matter how you slice it. This is one of those quests where you have to help out the beautiful elf girl! 
No true gamer would pass up this opportunity! This will be tough. She barely said anything to me. Didn't even mention her name. So exactly how am I supposed to find her again? Still! I can't just forget about the first elf girl I've ever spoken to. I refuse to give up! Okay! You awake, Pata? I know what we're going to do tomorrow. The elf forest should be close by. These woods are way denser than the ones I escorted Miss Marka through. According to the guild, there should be plenty of elves living around here. What's the matter, Pata? What if we hear? We may not have found that girl, but we tracked down the evildoers. And I've got a bone to pick with them. Aww. Hold it! <laughs> it ain't nice running off, leaving your friends behind. <laughs> I got her, Mr. Udalon. Put her in shackles, then. Sir! Big surprise. Yet another elf brat. Doesn't take very much to break these elves, does it? Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? Quite the mean look you gave me. You know, I don't think you realize just who's in control here. <laughs> I know, since you're already on your knees. Why not try begging for mercy? If you do a good job, maybe I'll spare your little friends. hunters she mentioned and from what I witnessed they look down on other races I guess some things in this world aren't fantasy make sure you find any that are missing we don't have nearly enough to bring to the market oh what's wrong you scared I'm going to brand you as well that girl said to stay out of elf affairs and to mind my own business <laughs> Can't just stand back and ignore this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Huh? I finally tracked you down. What do you want? I'm here to take those children back. Now, there's a find. That woman's a dark elf, sir. You don't see them every day. So fetch a high price on the market. Now the women like this one don't really do anything for me. She's all yours. <laughs> well, in that case, maybe we'll just have to show her a good time instead.
said she didn't need any help? It wasn't just bravado. Hold it right there. That is, unless you don't care what happens to them. You'd use children as shields? You're pure scum. Go ahead and keep talking back, see what happens. Trust me, you're not gonna think it's pretty, but I will. <laughs> Uh -huh. Seems like that got under your skin. Well, you're gonna love this. <laughs> oh, not bad. Those cheeks needed some color. You're a dead man now! What fire in those eyes. Maybe I did need to break a strong woman after all. Nice change of pace. <laughs> <laughs> Hold still now. Just go ahead and examine the merchandise. <laughs> I'm afraid I'll have to break my promise. Obvious they're no ordinary knight. <laughs> Up you go! Look how high! You'll be relieved to know four children have been rescued. Send someone for them. Location the elf forest near Diento. It's not far from the main road, so they should be easy to find. I'll wait with them. What in the world was that strange-looking bird? It looked like you were speaking to it. It's a whispering fowl. A type of spirit creature able to remember speech. We pass messages with them. Interesting. So kind of like a carrier pigeon mixed with a voice recorder. Voice recorder? What's that? Nothing! I'm speaking gibberish! Yeah. I see. It's extremely difficult for any human to tame a spirit creature. 
But for elves, it comes easier. Whispering fowl trust us, and our society depends on them. Kerzoos! What a fascinating animal! You learn something new each day. Your escorts are here. Sisters, you're going to see home again. Yay! Well, I suppose this is where we part, my friends. Aww. Don't give me those sad faces. If you encounter any more villains, rest assured I will come running to your aid and save the day. for sure. The only ones I've ever dealt with before have been barbaric and dangerous. Also, you're capable of using the legendary teleportation magic. Just who in the world are you? No one of significance, but you may call me Ark. I'm a wandering mercenary. Yeah. And this here is Ponta, my traveling companion. I am known as Arion Glenis Maple. I'm a proud elf warrior. You have my gratitude for intervening. I only did what needed to be done. <laughs> Danka's whispering foul is here. Miss Arian. <gasps> they have made their headquarters in the village of Diento. Come and lend your assistance at once. We're going to rescue the others. Now then, you said you were a sword for hire, right? Yes, I did. In that case, Sir Ark, I would like to immediately request your services. Until this moment, I have never trusted anyone who is not an elf. But... In that case, Sir Ark... I would like to request your services. You wish to hire me? Yes. Of course. But what about your comrades? Won't they have some concerns? It's true. I imagine many of them won't be very pleased. And if you were any other human, I wouldn't dare risk it. However, you haven't shown any prejudice against my kind. And you helped me save the children. Even a spirit creature accepts you. Therefore, you will also have my full trust. So please lend me your hand, and aid me in rescuing my fellow kin. Very well. <sighs> it would be my pleasure. You have my sword, Lady Arya. Living a low-key and conspicuous life, mm, mostly. After meeting up with Lady Arion, I'm starting to reconsider my agenda. Unbelievable! Somehow, we're here. That's Lydell River. In which case, that would be Diento in the distance. Indeed. I wanted to avoid a scene and not teleport into town. We're within walking distance. Truly remarkable. You teleported without even using an incantation. Do you still think I'll be useful? Yes, of course. I can't think of a better power for this mission. Shall we? The sun is setting. And we still need to meet this contact of yours. You're right. the plan. We wait here until Donka arrives. It shouldn't be too much longer. Oh, that soon? <laughs> so we're meeting another beautiful elf warrior like Ariane. No telling how attractive this Donka is. <laughs> Arian. Uh, you made it. Oh, <laughs> Whoa, this guy? He's one mean looking elf. Apologies for making 
wait. No, we only just arrived a moment ago, Danka. <laughs> He's your comrade? Yes, I am. And who might you be? His name is Ark, a mercenary who's agreed to help us. A hired sword. <laughs> Draw attention on the street. Let's discuss this elsewhere. Agreed. Here you go. It's been a while. Memory serves about But Ark, there's so much food, you're sure you're not hungry. Yes. Quite full, I assure you. There is no way I'm taking this helmet off in front of them. They'd be all over me the second I did. You don't hurt me. This is Donka Neil Maple, an elf warrior like myself. He's been on a fact-gathering mission. Maple? But isn't that also your last name? Yes. Are you siblings? Or... We're not. For our elvish given names, we use our parents. That's based on our gender. Last names are our village. And then finally, you combine them. In other words, we're citizens of the city of Maple, from the Great Canada Forest. Thus, we share last names. I don't see the point of explaining it to him. By the way, Sir Donka, what have you found out? Goa beef skewers are considered a diento delicacy. The flavor's wholly unique to this town specifically. They raise their livestock here. Uh, he stonewalled me! For drink, a nice mug of honey beer. Brewed using the finest grade of honey from the nearby verdant fields. No finer refreshment exists, surely. <sighs> Quite good. Quite flavorful. Now, what's this? This! Mercenary. When I encountered the elf hunters in the woods, Ark here lent a hand in aid. So I've hired him for the rescue mission to help us out. <laughs> Did you know? He's not your typical mercenary, though. He uses teleportation magic. Teleportation? Are you sure? Mm. There are limitations, but yes. That's a Ventu Vulpus. Ark calls her Ponta. They're traveling companions. A magic user who has a spirit creature for a companion. It sounds like he might be of some use to us. Tell me, were you able to locate their base of operations? Yes. It's near the entertainment district. We'll find the missing elves inside. Just one problem. The area is fairly active even in the evenings. We'll wait until nighttime, when fewer people will be in the vicinity after dark. You're right. For now, I suggest we remain right here. <laughs> then it'll be some time before we take action. I'll meet you again in about now. I have some crucial errands to attend to. Understood. We will be waiting for you. Ponta, come along. <laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, about what? This arc, you placing trust in an outsider. Earlier, when I was fighting the traitors, I would have been caught, or even worse, if he hadn't decided to intervene on my behalf. Perhaps you underestimated your opponents. Or were you just impatient? Uh, I failed. I'm no warrior. Not like my sister, I know. It's true. Yvine would have likely defeated them with ease. Although, comparing you is pointless. Despite your youth, you've acquitted yourself admirably. With more experience, one day you will stand as her equal. I hope. Tell me the truth. This human, do you honestly think that he can be trusted? 
Yes. Very well. Then we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Good thing taking out those bandits may be a nice profit. So many options. Which stall first? Right then. discovered. Once we've freed the elves, any enemies we encounter will meet death. I'm curious, Ark. Can you teleport us up to that window? No problem. First, let's get out of sight. The light from the magic circle will alert them to our presence. No, that won't be necessary. Place your hands upon me. Teleportation magic. How? Just who in the world are you? <laughs> A simple mercenary. Honestly, I'm impressed. There's nobody inside. We'll be able to sneak in through here. Be careful. Right. <laughs> Almost there. Hey, you could have told me that was an option all along. You needn't worry. Both of us looked away. You did admirably, considering the size of the window. Let's move. Uh... Killed while they slept. A single slash across each of their throats. 
The blood hasn't even dried. Meaning this happened recently. It would appear we're not the only ones who have business here. I'm not sure what we've stepped into, but I suggest we find the prisoners as soon as possible. We'll be able to cover more ground if we split up. Stay alert. <laughs> Steps? Never even heard of them. Gary? Hmm. There's a keyhole. That'll work. More bodies. It was killing me. Too? No, I was searching for something and couldn't find it. The elves you're looking for are imprisoned underground. What's this? Information that should be useful to you and your allies. to ask her name. Still, though, I had no idea being friends with spirit creatures was so rare. Are you sure you're okay with this arrangement, Ponta? <sighs> she mentioned this would be useful. Let's take a look. <sighs> Hold on! A contract for purchasing elf slaves? Mm -hmm. Look, the name here. Yes. To think that the Lord of Diento himself would be involved in the slave trade. As for the captive elves, they're being held in the basement. We'll also find two more prisoners at the Lord's palace. Thanks, but between the contract and what you told us, where'd this info come from? I get the feeling if I bring up that furry-eared ninja, it would only complicate things. Oh, well, I captured one of the guards and they confessed everything. How impressive. So then, what's next? How should we proceed from this point on? We'll finish up here and then head to the palace. <clears throat> Who are you people? Obviously, they're intruders! Perfect. So much for making it underground without being noticed by anyone. We fight through anybody who stands in our way. Agreed. Don't just stand there! Let's kill them all! Dance fire! Like this sword of blade! Let's move. Each adversary will taste the same conclusion. Death. This way. Glennis Maple, we're breaking you out. 
safe. They can't hurt you anymore. Good. We're all finished here, then. Would you? Understood. Let's be on our way. Gage! Isn't that... Uncurse! This isn't over yet. While I make sure the children get home, take care of the rest. I'm counting on you. Right. Ark, there are more captured elves. You two should be able to rescue them. Hmm. Watch Aryan. For me. I shall. You! <laughs> That's the Lord's palace, I take it. Yes. Ark, do you mind? It's nothing. Right. Here we go! Dimension move! Will they be all right if there's only two of them? Yes, if they work as a team. They should be able to sneak in and out of the building without any problems. Somehow, that knight knew what a ninja was. Whoever you are, something tells me our paths will cross again. Hi there, it's me, Ark. Alongside the elf warriors Lady Ariane and Danka, we entered the base in Diento. Our mission? Find their captured brethren. While there, I ran into a furry-eared ninja who told me about even more prisoners being held nearby. Did I mention the ninja had a tail? After we saved the elves below the hideout operation, our next goal was to free the captives being held at the Lord's Castle. Donka led the children home, meaning Lady Ariane and I are on our own. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, come on, you fleet-edged bastard! Get it over with! <laughs> What a knack for inventing the most colorful endearments. In those fiery eyes that look at me as if I were trash. Stop, you're giving me chills. <laughs> well, Udalon, not only did you accompany the elf hunters without permission, after losing the goods, you had the nerve to show your face. Obviously, you don't know how to handle these creatures. What a pathetic child. Pay attention, because I'm about to show you. <laughs> this is the only way to deal with their kind. Up there. It looks like we can enter through the bell tower. The Lord's chambers should be near the top of the palace. How can you be sure? Haven't you heard the old saying? The higher the place, the higher the chance you'll find smoke or fools. I'm convinced. Should cut down on our search. Uh, where the hell did you two come from? What the? Do you even know where you are? All trespassers will be punished. 
handles so much for the element of surprise. We've got to find a way to lose these soldiers, and fast. Did you find them? No, it's like they disappeared. They couldn't have gotten far, so let's split up and keep searching. That was close. We managed to lose them, despite alerting the entire castle of our presence. For the time being, at least. Let's hurry. Stop it! What's the matter? Master Triton, it's an emergency! Can't you tell I'm in the middle of something? Sir, we have intruders! They managed to breach the palace somehow! Is that all? Tell me something. Why haven't you dealt with it already? I would, but I don't even think they're human! What now? Who... who are you two? Who do you think? I'm Ark. Hope you don't mind us dropping in so late. We're rescuing those girls! Uh, it's those psychos from the forest! There's <laughs> Arion's here! How'd they manage to sneak past the guards anyway? How dare you barge in here? Who in the bloody hell do you think you are? <laughs> it's okay, you can rest easy now. Oh, thank goodness, we're free. We knew you would come and rescue us. see any problem exacting retribution for his betrayal. <laughs> Do whatever you wish with him till you're satisfied. Oh, 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 oh right in the oh, yeah, oh, that hurts. Yeah, oh, God, he's gonna feel that every single day of his life. Lord Triton, are you all right, sir? Capture those intruders, now! Lady Aurea. You keep them occupied. I have matters to attend to in this hidden room. Huh? What? Resistance will show you no mercy! Fire dance! Burn along my blade! Miss, what now? The two of you need to escape. Go meet up with Donka. Then head for Lalatoya. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what a hole! Do -do -do -do. Ark found a gold bar. All right. <laughs> I'm finished up on my end. What are you doing? Lady Aria, while we damaged their organization, you'd be surprised how quickly they can rebuild. With these. Uh, what are you talking about? Consider the following. After we leave this place, they'll most likely try to re-establish their kidnapping syndicate. But if we were to deprive them of their funds... Uh, without their gold reserves, their operation wouldn't be able to recover. <laughs> A truly brilliant plan, Ark. Yes, she totally bought it! Out of curiosity, when did you have the time to set up those explosions? I thought it was you who had planted them. As far as I know, we're the only ones who infiltrated the castle, and Donka should be escorting the other elves back home. In any case, I think we should take our leave.
set off the explosions. I wonder who did. Possibly that furry ear ninja. With that, I feel I have fulfilled our contract. You have. I'm extremely grateful for your help. I hope this will be a sufficient reward. <laughs> Although, it's not much compared to the hidden stores you made off with. <laughs> Many thanks. Tell me, Ark, what are you planning to do now? Well, I didn't have anything in mind. Seeing how that's the case, would you like to come visit the Elflands with me? The Elflands? With you? It's not just here. My kin are still being held captive all over. But with your help, we can continue freeing them. The freaking land of elves? That sounds fantasy as all hell! I want to go! Not tomorrow, not soon, but right this... second. <coughs> think they would welcome an outsider like myself? We'll need to meet with the Elder first. Nothing can be done without their permission. Finally! A chance to meet the top brass! This is too good to be true! No matter what, sitting down with this Elder is necessary. Are you worried? It's important to demonstrate that I trust you. And to that end, I must first introduce you to those who I trust equally as much. Lady Arion, the fact is I can never remove my armor. When you do meet with the village elder, you're going to speak with them face to face at the very least. Is there a reason you can't? A very good one, actually. If I remove my helmet, you may feel compelled to turn your sword on me. And if I were to give you my solemn word that won't happen, then will you reveal your face? At first, I was only interested in showing I wasn't as useless as she thought. But traveling alongside her... Very well. Uh, Ark, what happened? to you. I'm not sure myself. The truth is, when I woke up, I found my appearance had changed. Most likely from a curse. It's either that, or I tell her I got transported to this world looking like my video game character. Which I doubt she'd understand. If you were truly undead, then you'd have the corruption of death. Basically, you couldn't use healing spells or the power of light to break curses. Not to mention, a spirit creature wouldn't be as attached to you as Ponta is. <laughs> so listen, Ark. Without fail, you've continuously lent me your strength and helped save my dear comrades. Which is why your secret will be safe among the elves. I promise we will not break your trust. Furthermore, if your appearance was caused by a curse, it's possible the Elder may have some knowledge how to lift it. That would be wonderful. I want nothing more than to be rid of this hex. To resume a life where I can show my face. <laughs> then it's decided. <laughs> Let us swear an oath. On my name, Ariane Glenis Maple. You have my word. We won't harm you. And my name is Ark. On a quest to break the curse upon me. You. I am at your disposal, my lady. What a twist. Here I am, on a journey to break the spell I originally invented as part of my character's backstory. It may be late, and the pale glow of the moon overhead is the only source of light. However, the path before me is clear. The 
this matter with Marquis D'Unto? Do we know what part he was responsible? We don't, Father. Not yet. Although, there are some rumors that the elves were behind the attack on the castle. <sighs> Here, say then. I'm curious what makes you think it was worth mentioning in the first place, sect. If Marquis Diento was indeed guilty of capturing and selling elves to the Eastern Empire, he would have been in violation of the treaty. So it makes sense why they would seek revenge against him. The Marquis? Impossible. <sighs> Sounds like more baseless rumors. Do you have proof of any of this, Brother Sect? How strange. Why is it that you're so eager to defend Marquis Diento, Dakarez? <laughs> I won't allow you or anyone else to impugn the nobility of this kingdom based solely on court gossip! Calm yourselves. Dakaris is correct. We cannot condemn the Marquis without sufficient evidence. However, these troubling allegations do demand further investigation. Fine. <laughs> we should make inquiries as to what exactly occurred in Dianto without further delay. Tell me what your current take on the matter is, Yoriana. I am also quite aware of these stories. If they're true, well, it means the treaty with the elves has effectively been broken. If that happens, no doubt it would raise tensions between our kingdom and the other nations. We should ascertain the truth. It's imperative we arrange a meeting and speak with the elves in person. If they were to seek retribution by halting their arrangements with Limbold, you can imagine the aftermath of such an outcome. No doubt the other countries would hold us responsible and vilify us, right? Yes. <sighs> While the magical equipment would be bad enough, withholding the runestones needed to crop cultivations would be disastrous. We would be courting uprisings from our own nobility as well. Go, Yuriarna. Head over to Limbold straight away. Make the proper arrangements so we may speak with the elves. As you wish, Father. It shall be done. <laughs> That's all I have to say regarding these events. Such a dense forest. Feels like we're walking in place. It does. I think we should find somewhere to make camp soon. Aha! There's better visibility up ahead. Here's your chance, Ark. Lady Arya, I shall do some scouting. Leave it to me. Uh... Dimension move! for the message. Now head back to Danka and the others, please. Danka's escorting the girls that we rescued. They're safely on their way to Lalatoya. Excellent news indeed. Speaking of which, huh? do we have far to go until we reach Lalatoya? It's not that much farther. Just two more nights and we should be there. <laughs> <laughs> we did cover a lot of ground today. One fish must have not been enough. Now that you mention it, I suppose. But I should be fine. Know what? Think I'll hunt us down a bull boar. I'll keep watch over the fire. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
No, I shouldn't wake her up. Sit quietly. Be strong. This should make a nice meal. I'm back, and I brought dinner. My sweet little Bonta. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? You are. That's right. <laughs> Excuse me, the tea's done steeping. Oh, thank you very much, Ferna. Lovely aroma. <sighs> Princess Yuriarna? Is something bothering you? It's just... I'm convinced Brother Dacarez is involved in this unsavory business with capturing and selling elves. And Brother Sek won't stay quiet about it for long. No. Once the prince's involvement comes to light, the throne will eventually become open for you or Prince Sek. In the proper hands, finally. Verna, please. Uh, princess? I suggest that you should be more cautious with your words. And at this moment, we should be focused solely on the matter at hand. The diplomatic mission to Limbold, you mean? Yes, exactly. The Grand Duchy of Limbold is the only domain that has trade relations with the Elven people. Our top priority right now is arranging a meeting with them. We can't afford to have this conflict escalate further. Agreed. Though on a much lighter note, if you're meeting the Duke, it will be wonderful getting the chance to see your sister again. Yes. I wonder how Sariarna is. I do hope she's well. We're nearly there. It should be straight ahead. Hmm. Welcome to the Elf Settlement of Lalatoya. centuries-long lifespans, which means this settlement has probably been standing since ancient times. I'm gonna get ya! <laughs> One, 
that massive tree. The village elder resides there. We bid you welcome, Sir Knight. I am Dylan Tog Lalatoya, the elder overseeing this village. My daughter tells me that you're trustworthy. And my name is Glennis. I'm Arion's mother. It's a pleasure, Sir Elder. My lady, you may call me Ark. I'm a traveling mercenary. By chance, my path crossed with you. Oh, wait a sec! You're Lady Arian's mother and father? I just turned 170 this year, and staying there. Uh, how? With magic? She's actually 245. Uh, Mom, why do you act this way? <laughs> it's true! Elves do have a crazy long lifespan! So this entire time, you were related to the Elder we were supposed to meet? Did I not mention that? My daughter has given me a general idea of the events. It seems you've been instrumental in helping rescue our kin. First of all, thank you. On behalf of all Elves, we are grateful. That being said, I was taken aback when I learned she decided to attack the Marquis's palace while in Diento. It was the humans that broke the treaty, Father! If you wanted to send a clear message to the kidnappers, why would you choose to strike the Lord's home of all places? Well, you see... Sir Elder, huh? if you'll allow me to explain. Now I understand. Your mission was deeper, rescuing the two captured girls held by Dieto's Lord. Hmm. Your actions were understandable. However... I need to share the situation with the other elders at the next general meeting. Then I'm going with you. Mm. We will make the journey to Maple tomorrow morning. It's imperative this trafficking contract is also brought to their attention. Right. Hopefully that concludes the political talk. Because now it's time for dinner. We, we give, give thanks, thanks for, for this meal. meal. <laughs> Please, Ark, you're at home here. My daughter's informed me about your condition. There's no need for you to be concerned about Glennis and I. I appreciate it. Don't hesitate to go back for seconds. Help yourself. Well, if you insist. Circles ready. The destination, Maple. Ready to go, Arion? Yes.
Builder Dylan of Lana Toya. I believe you are here to report on the investigation into these recent kidnappings. You have the floor, so please begin. Yes, sir. This is an honor. Thank you for showing me around. Well, considering how you looked after Ariane, it's the least I could do. Is this settlement large compared to other elf villages? There seems to be a good many living here. For reasons of safety, we decided to absorb some of the nearby smaller settlements. Our population's grown to around 4,000. These kidnappings must be more widespread than I first thought. What's a human doing here? Are we going to be safe? I've never seen armor like that before. was nice enough to host me. Let me show you. After you healed my leg, it's like nothing happened. You see? Impressive. Not even I can jump that high. You both take care now. Thanks. We will. We'll see you around. <laughs> Bye for now. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry about the delay, Lady Glennis. Shall we continue with the tour? It's fine. They missed you. No need to apologize, Arky. By the way, if you're up for it, how about we spar a bit? Spar with you? Regarding the incident at the Lord's Palace, it can only be described as careless. Yes, but it was the humans that intentionally broke the treaty, though. 400 years of peace gone. If ever there was a justification for war, this is it. True, surely they remember. It was merely 600 years ago that our lands were split in two during our great and bloody conflict. And now they act like it never occurred. What transpired a generation ago for our kind is considered ancient history to them. No human from that time is still alive. Perhaps we could send a letter explaining to the Rodan Kingdom the impact these events have had on the truce. And expect what? There's no need for us to justify our actions. If any details emerge, the ones executing this operation would be at risk and eventually summoned by the nation in question. We cannot afford to show any weakness now. Yes, that is true. The humans are indeed guilty of breaking our agreement. However, attacking the home of a lord is excessive to say the least. If word of this spreads, it could ignite another war. While the operation to liberate our kindred will proceed, we'll watch how the Kingdom of Rodan reacts. We have no other choice. Just so I'm understanding correctly, this is a friendly sparring match between you and me, Lady Glennis. Yes, and don't hold back. You've seen Ariane fight, haven't you? Hmm. Well, I was her instructor in how to use a sword, so I ought to prove somewhat of a challenge. Besides, when it comes to dark elves, we're blessed with certain physical abilities. You see, when we want to get the true measure of someone, it usually includes testing their strength. And what's more, you're going to be accompanying my precious little girl on quite a dangerous journey. I want to know my daughter is in good hands. Of course, it's understandable. Ready? With that stance? Nope. Oh. Oh. Fast. Oh. Oh. You may have seen me coming, but you reacted with surprise like a true amateur. Dodge the attack, but with minimal movement. Well, get back in position. We're not done yet. I couldn't have asked for a better scenario. If I'm going to live in this world, I need to be a master of the sword. Oh, and here I here am, getting a free lesson with a dark elf expert, no less. Hardly. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
Sorry. Mm. I made a mistake, Father. You acted because you saw no other way of rescuing our fellow kin. You'll continue to search for more captives. And we'll hire Ark in an official capacity to assist you. That took longer than expected. And since we're already here in Maple, it would be nice to see Evine. Uh, I didn't realize you had some business with Sister. That's right. I don't believe anyone shared the good news with you. This next year, Evine is going to be married. Ah! My sis! No! Not the combat addict! I was adamant she would never settle down! She's getting hitched! No way! Turn. They won't be long. Why don't we venture on home? Come on. Uh, right, Lady Glennis. You lead the way. Yeah. I guess maxing out strength stats will only get you so far in this world. Yeah. I still got a lot to learn, Ponta. Kiri, Kiri. I worked up a sweat. There's definitely a bath in my future. A what? I've never met someone who was so excited about bathing. And I am fully prepared to pay. Arky, you're our guest. While you're in there, perhaps you should give Ponta a good washing, too. Ooh. An excellent idea. Come on, Ponta. Quit your squirming. Or we're not gonna get you cleaned up. Whoa, a bubble hurricane! <laughs> Feels like my last bath was ages ago. Nothing like soaking these old bones after working up a sweat. Well, technically I don't sweat, but still. What a sight. Bet I look like a corpse. And washed ashore, don't I, Ponta? Yeah. Huh? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Hold your fire, Lady Orion! 
It's only me, Ark! Oh, you know, you could have at least warned me. Really? Um, Ark, forgive me. Is there something wrong, Ariane? Your face is red. No, nope, everything's fine. Don't worry about it, Mother. Perfect. I was hoping you'd both be here. Now then, before dinner, let's discuss your agenda moving forward. After meeting with the elders, the decision was reached that your help would be invaluable investigating the names listed in the contract, as well as continuing to free those still captive. Which means, once more, lend us your sword. I'm hiring you to assist Ariane. However, I'm afraid we're unable to offer much in the way of payment for the trouble. The fact is, you've amassed far more wealth than we will probably ever see. Therefore, what if I instead provided information in lieu of coinage? What kind? Knowledge I believe would prove useful in breaking the curse upon your body. Oh. There is a spring near the Lord Crown. The legends say it has the power to break any curse. Sounds like what I've been looking for. Right. And what is this Lord Crown? Of all the different dragonkin in this world, one stands above the rest. They're called Dragon Lords. Wherever these impressive beasts make their home, a rare type of great tree called the Lord Crown grows. There are a number of spirits that dwell within it, which in turn have a variety of effects on the bark and leaves. One problem. You'll have to enter a Dragon Lord's domain in order to reach it. And any who disturb the spirits will suffer greatly. Quite the feat. Is it possible to enter this beast territory and leave in one piece? For humans, the odds of surviving are slim. But if an elf were to secure permission, you should have safe passage. How's that sound? Is knowledge and access to the spring a suitable trade for your skills as a warrior? More than enough. This curse-breaking stuff. It was just something I made up as part of my character's background. But it's become a whole thing now. No need to look worried. Not like you'll be alone on this journey. I'll be there by your side, Ark. You mean it? So, Ark, your answer. Would you be willing to lend us both your sword and your strength to help our people once more? It's a deal. Thank you again for the information. I will fight and free your captured kin. <laughs> I cannot thank you enough, Ark. We'll remember this. Hopefully that concludes all the business chatter. I imagine some of you want dinner. When the sun rises, it's back to freeing elves with Lady Arion. Makes me wonder, though, what if I do look this way because of some actual curse? Sure, it started off as my avatar, but maybe in this world, it's become part of the lore. The mid-tier bishop class have uncurse in their spell list, so there's a chance I could fix whatever's going on by myself. There's also the high-tier priest class's holy purify, but even though that breaks curses, it also ends up causing massive damage to any undead creatures. We'll be safe. And try just the tip of the finger. Uncurse! Huh? <laughs> Makes me wonder, though. What if I do look this way because of some actual curse? Sure, it started off as my avatar, but maybe in this world, it's become part of the lore. The mid-tier bishop class have uncurse in their spell list, so there's a chance I could fix whatever's going on by myself. We'll be safe. And try just the tip of the finger. Uncurse!
It's me, Ark. As the sun began to rise, we set out on our grand journey for Olav, the capital of the Roden Kingdom. It's our best bet to find the criminals listed on the trafficking contract. On an unrelated note, I managed to confirm my suspicions that I look this way because of some sort of curse. <sighs> I'm able to lift it temporarily using my magic, but after a few seconds, I'm back to bones. Meaning either the curse is self-perpetuating, or there's something else going on. Everything okay? You seem distracted. Huh? Of course! I was just daydreaming, is all. If you say so. We should be out of the woods here shortly. Actually, you should try it sometime. Should the opportunity arise, I might. <laughs> well, anyway, let's talk about tomorrow. Most people tend to travel by carriage using the road next to the forest to reach Olav. But to save us time, I think we should cut through the forest as a shortcut. The sooner we arrive, the better, I suppose. Did you say you two are planning to cut through the woods? You're better off staying away from them. It's too dangerous. How so? There are monsters in those woods. About ten people have been attacked in just the last couple of days. Every last one of them got tangled up with these fierce creatures called haunted wolves. Haunted wolves? Have they always been there? I don't believe so. I've only just started hearing about them. Either way, you're better off taking the road. I assume from your expression you'd like to move as swiftly as possible to save the other elves. You needn't worry. We can manage some wolves. I agree. If that's all there is, we shouldn't have much of a problem. Right then, tomorrow we'll head through the woods as we originally planned. <laughs> Guards will rendezvous with us further down the road, but I'm told there won't be very many of them. Are you really in that much of a hurry? The greater the numbers, the slower our pace will be, Ferna. We have no choice but to make haste. Our arrival's expected in the Grand Duchy of Limboldt. We'll be embarking shortly, Your Highness. Those wolves should be appearing any time now. Indeed. Is something wrong? Well, it's just that the tales of haunted wolves are unique. The fur gives off a pale blue light. It's really quite beautiful. I've heard a veil woven with that fur is considered to be the finest gift for a bride-to-be. Coincidentally, my older sister is going to be getting married soon. Then I take it you'd like to obtain some haunted wolf tales for a veil, right? Well, yes, of course. But we don't have the time to waste on such an endeavor. That's okay. Hmm. Ark! Speak of the devil dogs, and they appear. Be careful! 
Say for sure. Forgive me, but do you mind if we stop for a moment? What for? Well, uh, I know that we're in a bit of a hurry to get to Olaf, but it would be such a waste, and I promise it won't take long, so maybe. It's the gift for your sister, right? Let us take a brief rest then. Thank you so much. Lovely tales for a lovely veil. <laughs> Miss Yuriarna? Something to eat, perhaps? Thank you, Ferna, but I'm all right. Is there something weighing on your mind? There is. This mission for me to travel to the Grand Duchy of Limbold. Father ordered it himself. And while it's been carried out in secret up until now, I can't help but feel a bit anxious about it. If my suspicions are correct, Brother Dakarez is most likely involved with the elf slave trade. So, he's bound to be displeased with this round of negotiations. And I doubt Brother Sect, with his ambitions for the throne, will let things play out without getting involved. I just hope it doesn't land us in trouble. <gasps> Enemy! We are under attack! Princess! That 
should do the trick. After today's battle, I think one thing is obvious. I have all these fighting skills and magic powers, but until I learn how to use them, they're practically useless. Next time I have the chance, I should ask Lady Arianne for combat training. Something wrong, Hunter. Hunter, wait! Lady Aria, pardon me, but I'll be right back. Don't take too long. Did something happen, Hunter? What is it? done. Sir, make sure it looks like the work of bandits, which luckily for you means any valuables are yours, on top of your payment. I found a memento of Princess Yuriarna. <laughs> what a shame she had to die this way. I bet the poor girl never even saw it coming. <laughs> what is it now? <laughs> this weird little thing's attacking me! Cares. Just kill the bloody thing. <laughs> Roger that, sir. Care to explain what it is you're doing here? <laughs> Who's that knight with? He said too much. Kill him. Fire Beretta! Casting rock shot! Girls dressed like a highborn. I'm guessing they killed her. If this were an online game, being healed or resurrected by a passing player would be met with resounding appreciation. But who knows what'll happen if I do it in this guy? There's not a scratch on him! He's a freak! <laughs> Since no one's around to watch, it's probably a good time to try this out. Hope this works. Regeneration! This magic can revive someone and fully restore their vitality. But if the injuries were too severe, or too much time has passed since death, then it might fail. Was I fast enough? Ponta, please keep an eye on this girl for a second. I'm gonna see if I'm able to revive the others. Regeneration! Regeneration! <sighs> the body's too badly damaged for this poor guy. Regeneration! 
Regeneration! Regeneration! Regeneration! Regeneration! Regeneration! Is that... a guardian angel? woke up without a single scratch, but I do remember being stabbed. Some of the men are still dead, but most of them have somehow been resurrected. What in the world happened after we died? <sighs> My dress is covered in blood. That wasn't a dream. There's no doubt that we were attacked and killed by some unknown force. But who? Oh, thank goodness you're safe, Princess. What could be responsible for this? I'm certain that this miracle was sent to us by God himself. Ferna, gather the men. Right. Soldiers, at attention! Her Highness Princess Yuriarna wishes to address you. Brave men, only moments ago we were each struck down and left for dead. However, God has not forsaken us. Yes, it was by his divine grace that we were brought back. We cannot afford to let this act of God go to waste. So we will honor his decision to save us by moving forward. With this newfound strength, there is nothing that can stop us. Make haste. Onward to Limbolt! <laughs> Capture as many horses as you can. We need to swap up the ones. I figured that girl might have been a noble at most, but she's actually royalty. You know, now that I think about it, using magic that can revive the dead might not have been the best idea. Especially since I just so happened to resurrect a princess. I probably just changed the course of history. Nah, I'm sure it's not too big of a deal, right, Ponta? It's about time you came back. What took you so long? Did you run into any trouble? Trouble? Of course not. Ponta just needed to go for a bit of a stroll is all. I see you've obtained your wolf tails. This is more than enough fur. It'll make for the most beautiful veil. Well done. Shall we be on our way? Let's go.
been journeying far across this land, freeing my fellow beast people, victims of the human slave trade. During my travels, I found myself in the town of Diento. There, I met a strange human. I should mention whether it's elves, beast people, or any other race, each has their own characteristic scent. But his... Well, this human smells different. Unlike anyone I've ever met, his entire presence was a mystery. He was, in a word, unique. A ninja? <gasps> and on top of that... One with furry ears and a tail? Let's go! This strange man was also accompanied by a spear creature who was able to send malice in others. We'll meet again soon. Wait, who are you? Looks like I was right. Our paths keep crossing. Based on what I saw in Diento, this might be fortunate. Hello there, it's your boy, Ark. While we were venturing through the royal capital of Olaf, I ran into that furrier ninja again. You did a pretty fine job of freeing those elves, I must say. On that subject, there's something I would like to discuss with you. Are you free at the moment? Who is she? I didn't have time to explain during our assault in Diento, but she gave me the training contract and the information about your kid in the palace. As for her name, I'm not sure. Allow me to remedy that. Please call me Chiyome. I am one of the Jinchin clan's six ninja. Jinchin? Separate both parts. You have Jin, which means blade, and Shin is heart. Combine the words and it becomes those who endure. <laughs> a real shinobi! But we shouldn't talk out here in the open. Let's go somewhere a little more private. The capital city is as impressive as I'd imagined. On top of that, she's from the Jean Sheen clan! What's she say? Jean is blade and Sheen is heart, right? Together they mean those who adore. You know what that sounds like? And Kanji, Yaiba plus Kokoro equals Shinobi! Call it! I knew right away! She's a ninja! A bona fide furry eared fuzzy tailed ninja! <laughs> Sorry, personal matter. Time for formal introductions. As you've already heard, I'm Ark, a traveling mercenary. And this is Ponta. I'm Ariane Glennis Maple, a warrior from the Great Canada Forest. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and Pontus as well. Moving on from there, I have something I'd like to ask you, Sir Ark. Yes? What might that be? Back when we met in Diento, you called me a ninja, but how could you have possibly known? I mean, duh! It's pretty freaking obvious that's what she is. But what should I really say? Back in my homeland, there are spies who dress in attire similar to yours. We refer to them as ninjas. I see. But that's only known by fellow members of our clan, meaning... If you're already aware of our existence, then you and our great founder must be from the same country. As in your leader? Just curious. This person who established your clan, are they still alive? No. The great founder walked the earth around 600 years ago and has faded from this realm into legend. 600 years ago? Does that mean another Japanese guy was transported to this world centuries before I landed here? You said that your name's Chiyome, right? So what did you want to discuss with Ark? She took a big risk back in Diento, searching for the stronghold without any backup. But if it wasn't about saving the elves, then... My people are enslaved. And I'd like to ask for your aid in freeing them from their captors. That's what I figured. Despite only being here a short while, it's easy to imagine how beast people are treated in this world, given the relationship I've witnessed between elves and humans. Her mission's just like Lady Arion's, 
I wonder how many others are oppressed in this world. My best guess is that the two of you are searching for the individuals who are listed in the contract. In lieu of payment, I can offer you intel as to their whereabouts. We appreciate it, but at the moment, I'm under contract with the elves to aid Lady Arion in saving her kin. Even at such a young age, she's an incredibly skilled ninja. I wish I could help her. It'd bring more unwanted attention, but if I could be of some use, how can I tell her no? What do you think about her offer? Her information sounds more valuable than gold and would be a fair exchange. Let me ask you, as far back as you can remember, were you always striving to save your kin? Yes. It's what I've spent my life training for, to keep growing stronger, and rescue as many beast people as possible. This girl's just like me. Okay then. Uh? <clears throat> as if I'd say no. We're so similar. Even though we are from different races, I know her plight. Mm. Lady Chiome! Uh, yes? Count me in. It'd be my honor to assist you. Yes, and mine as well. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and hear what you had in mind and how best we can be of help to you. Uh, right! Damn it! Of all times, why'd this happen now? The haunted wolf stopped taking orders and at the worst possible moment! Do you suppose someone has managed to destroy the rings? If so, then it would mean Doriana's still alive. Concerning her whereabouts, we are in the dark. Although, she's likely taking back roads in order to avoid us. For now, the search continues. Imagine if she manages to reach the elves and holds negotiations. But ever since that assault in Diento, the elves have become considerably more successful in undermining the slave trade. Same for the beast people. <laughs> How are we supposed to carry on with our business? Do we know who struck the palace? The only information we've received is elf-like individuals were present that night but nothing concrete as of yet. Whoever they are, they'll likely come to Olav. <laughs> Once they're here, do you think they'll try to end my life? Possibly. What can we do? Something must be done, Cetrion! I have a safe house. Its existence is a tightly guarded secret. <laughs> In my opinion, it would be wise for you to make use of it for the time being. Lady Chiyomi. Earlier, you mentioned this great founder was the one responsible for naming the Jinshin clan. Was he also a beast person like you? No, our great founder, Master Hanzo, was a human. Hanzo! Originally, he began serving as a spy under the employment of Revlon Empire. The beast people faced injustice under their government, so Master Hanzo took them under his care. Even making some his subordinates. From those humble beginnings, the Jinshin clan was born. A human named Hanzo? There's no doubt about it! This great founder was Japanese! <laughs> After landing in another world, not only did he create a ninja clan without any help, but his legend still survives even six centuries later! Man, I'm jealous! <laughs> How awesome! This place is Why is he acting like that? Trust me, you'll get used to it. That's Etzat, the infamous slave market, Olaf's largest. Many are held there. We're going in and making sure everyone knows. How much product we got? A healthy amount. 
At this rate, we should make our quota in time for shipping. Excellent. The tide's turning. Business has been more difficult than usual as of late. Yes. Prince Darkeress should be rather pleased with our progress. If you're looking for the main nerve of the slave trade, it's Exat Market. Once we launch our attack, reinforcements will appear quickly. Likely, the Royal Army will take action as well. Sounds like escaping is going to be quite a challenge. You're right. Thing is, in order for this plan to succeed, you have to be conspicuous. To strike swift and get out fast. I don't understand. If I'm being perfectly honest with you, I don't expect everyone involved in the attack to make it out safely. Basically, Exat is a decoy. <laughs> The idea is to launch simultaneous assaults on the other four slave markets in the capital. Several of my comrades have already infiltrated Olaf. Meaning all the attention will be drawn to Edsat, the largest target, allowing the other locations to be liberated. There's no way. No doubt there will be collateral damage. But if sacrificing ten lives ends up sparing a hundred from the tortures of slavery, that's the course of action we must take. The good news is, with both of you assisting, we should be able to minimize any casualties. In that case, despite knowing the risks, we're still ready to assist any way we can. I appreciate you wanting to help, but I couldn't ask you to risk your lives. My teleportation magic should keep us safe. Teleportation? Then I wasn't mistaken about you suddenly appearing in the room. Sir Ark, you really are a master of space-time ninjutsu, just like our great friend. Space time ninjutsu? That's right! Legend says the great founder was able to wield the exact same ability, allowing him to travel across great distances in the blink of an eye. I think they're slightly different, but I can jump to anywhere that I previously visited in an instant. With that kind of magic at our disposal, we can avoid any dangerous situations. Actually, Sir Ark's powers have changed everything. We can free the slaves in Edsat. All right! I'll see you soon. I'm off to go inform my comrades. Sure. Just remember, no need to rush. And watch your back. Well, you don't have to worry about me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot to mention the attack is tonight. So make any preparations you need to in the meantime. Am I imagining things, or did she just say that we're breaking into the fortress tonight? Nope, you did not. So be it. We should set about preparing. Prepare how? Time to eat! <laughs> so by getting ready, this is what you meant? You can't fight while hungry! You need to fuel up! <laughs> I'm impressed! We have the bounty of the sea and the mountains. It's an embarrassment of riches. Well, various goods from all over the nation flow into the capital. Uh, Here, you should try some of these. I've never seen anything like them before. Are you sure? Better eat up before it gets cold. <laughs> and how is it? <gasps> Delicious. The texture is extra crispy with the flavor of mushrooms. What is it? Dragonfly. Oh, those bugs from before? Like I said, they're crunchy on the outside and better than they look. Figured you ought to try them for yourself. <sighs> Truly scrumptious. This world is chock full of new flavors waiting to be discovered. <laughs> Thank you for the meal. Well, shall we? We're leaving now? Yes, there's one last thing I need to see to. Well, that ought to do it. Yep, real scary. If we're going to act as decoys, we've got to go all out. No offense, but you stand out enough as is. You should have purchased one of your own. I'll be all right. <laughs> and it only sent me back 13 gold coins! I'll say this. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I should, but the truth is... You were ripped off! The scariest part was the price! Ripped off?! The cost reflects...
place is cultural significance. Look at the craftsmanship. Right, Potter? Yeah. <laughs> and two, Potter? Sorry for making you wait. Oh, Lady Shiome. Sir Art, what's with the mask? Well, the idea was... Don't worry about it. <sighs> so, who's this friend of yours? Another one of the Jinshin clan's six ninja, Goemon. Now you're telling me he's called Goemon? I'm curious. Is Chiyome your actual name? No. You see, it's a title bestowed upon the most skilled among our clan, which is known as the Six Ninja. Then I was right! Her name really does come from the famous Kunoichi, Mochizuki Chiyome! It can't be a coincidence. So if their great founder takes after Hatori Hanzo, and this guy Ishikawa Goemon, I wonder... Does that mean the other six also have names like Sarutobi Sasuke or even Kirigakure Saizo? <laughs> uh, Ark, <gasps> you're not having second thoughts, are you? Uh, uh, it's not that exactly. Man, he's intense. Goemon! teams are in place, ready for the signal. It's time we got things started then. Yes. Like we had discussed, the two of us will approach from the rear entrance, while Sir Ark and Goemon will enter from the front and distract the guards. Good luck getting their attention. Mm. They won't be able to look away. Well, Sir Goemon, guess that means we're on. Mm. Someone's coming. A beast person, and what is that thing? Halt! Stop right there! Take another step, and you'll regret it! Were we not loud enough for you? We ordered you to stop! Pardon us. We're here to get conspicuous. <laughs> to stone! Wall Smasher! Perhaps I'll 
sword in the pot. Rockfang, unleash! I don't know about you, but I'm under the impression your ninjutsu and my magic have a boosted cumulative effect! Most unexpected. Skeleton just gave himself an impromptu burial. Yeah. We should go. You're telling me that the Etza market is under attack? Yes. As well as the other four slave markets. It seems whoever's responsible is quite skilled. Soon after they forced their way inside, Etzat begged reinforcements be sent. Then send in additional forces! I refuse to let these barbarians take any more away from me! We must act at once! Sir. <laughs> oh, the wretched! Shoots with my. 
my magic have a boosted cumulative effect! Most unexpected. Looks like there aren't any guards present. They all must have left to try and deal with Ark and Goemon. Let's make this quick. Right. We're on. Should I blow it away with magic? No, I'll handle it. The quiet approach, impressive. After you. Intruders have broken through the front gate! The Royal Army should be arriving soon! We have to hold out until they get here! <laughs> of him. This is a perfect opportunity to lend a hand freeing the captives. Let's rendezvous with Lady Chiyomi. Go him on, well, Sir Ark. You're back. How'd it go? Everything went smoothly on this end. And the imprisoned beast people? They're gathered in the hall. Were you able to free all of them? Everyone who was there, however. We still have the building in the back. The castle should be sending reinforcements any minute. We must make haste. Right. I will remain here. Lend Chiyome your strength. Without anyone watching your back. Take care of our people. I'll be fine. So go, Amon. Mm. Can't argue with that. <laughs>
injured and sick. When they couldn't be sold off, the humans had no use for them. Chiyome, there's not much time. We should get everyone to safety. Yes, I'll need your help. Unbreakable strength! Muscle the metal! Arm Racer! stronger so no one will suffer as you did i swear on my honor as a ninja why haven't i received a report on edset yet i'm in the dark here within the royal army there seems to be confusion enough excuses I'll get the answers on my own. There's no need to concern yourself, Prince Dakares. You're already a corpse. What are you? Cetrion, <laughs> I don't understand. You've proven yourself. Once again, I am humbled by your praise, Prince Sect. Without fail, you've arranged these grim matters flawlessly. After learning beast people infiltrated the castle town, I realized it worked in our favor. Whatever their motive, it provided an ideal opportunity. 
Yes. The timing couldn't have been better. Also, regarding news of Yuriana's fate, despite losing wolves and men to this mysterious night, events are proceeding as planned. One who did escape managed to secure some of Princess Yuriana's personal effects. Our next step will announce she was tragically killed in a plot orchestrated by her treacherous brother. Sir. Such a terrible shame, isn't it, Dakares? You proved to be an obedient vassal to the Holy Revlon Empire. And this is your reward. There are no obstacles in my way. The throne of the Rodin Kingdom will be mine. Sir Ark! Lady Ariane! Where are the others? Safe, and on their way back home. I see. That's a relief. Sounds like a victory to me. Thank you! Yes. Mm -hmm. What's the matter, Sir Goemon? <laughs> Impressive! <laughs> Such splendid fighting! Figures. Here we go again. Those two have something in common beyond words. We can't let them outshine us, though, can we, Chiyome? Right. I must become stronger. The best there is. So I can save more lives. Look, cast your eyes upwards! The rising sun smiles down on our brotherhood! Warrior and the poet! Just one more time, I have to offer my gratitude for all your hard work. Don't worry about it. Indeed, we helped your cause because we wanted to. But now that you're finished here, where will you go? There's a hidden village, deep within the Calcutt Mountains. I pray you'll stay safe. We will. More importantly, I still need to provide you with the information I promised. Trouble arose in Olaf. Dakares was the mastermind behind it all, and General Cetrion put an end to his life. <gasps> Prince Dakares is dead? What on earth is going on? In other words, Brother Sect is next in line to ascend the throne and become king. Still, I fail to see how any of this proves he was the one behind the attempt on my life. The necklace Mother gave you. He had it. I know just how special it is to you. It must have been taken as some sort of proof of death. I imagine that's the real reason it was stolen during the raid. First, my carriage is ambushed, and then shortly after the supposed mastermind is killed. I wonder if Brother Sect was behind the whole thing. It seems highly unlikely the attack was ordered by Brother Dakares. 
But all that really matters is that you're here, still alive and well. We must inform our poor father at once. No, sister, we won't. The world is convinced that I'm dead. We mustn't give them a reason to doubt that idea. <sighs> I'm certain that we can use this in our favor. Even though his path to ascendancy is cleared, my cautious brother will continue to play it safe. He'll be in no hurry to take the throne. For now, I will carry out my duty from behind the scenes. Arrangements must be made for me to speak with the elves. I desperately need your help, sister. Not only for the sake of their race, but our own. Did you send a message telling them our situation? Yes. This has become larger than I could have ever imagined. It's best if Donka is kept informed on what we found out. Hmm. So, shall we press onward? Now, for what I promised in exchange for helping my people. While you already have the names of the trafficking contract, what you don't know is where the enslaved elves are being taken. They're going to the Holy Revlon Empire in the East. Of all places, the Holy Revlon Empire. I wonder what this nation is like. Knowing would probably help me better understand her circumstances. Since hearing its name, I sometimes catch Lady Arion wearing a pretty serious expression on her face. Also, let's not forget, I wanted to help out more on a local level, but now this is becoming an international affair. Let's quicken our pace, Ark. Hm. Off we go. Our next stop, the Holy Empire of Revlon. As we head over the horizon, who knows what new adventure awaits us? Those spies have sent word back on events in Rodan. You might be interested to know that Prince Darkares has been slain by Prince Sect, Emperor Domitianus. How inconvenient. And after I provided him with rings, any news on Yuriarna's assassination? We've been informed that the princess is no more. Ah, everything went exactly as planned then. Regrettably, when the operation commenced, the rings had somehow already been destroyed. The wolves proved worthless in carrying out the attack. At this current time, we believe the princess was killed by a different assailant. Sect, most likely. With her dead and the people looking for answers, he could have easily placed the blame on Dakaras. It appears so. Hmm. Rodan's heir might prove to be a handful. We should keep a close eye on him. And what a Fumba. Everything is going smoothly. Very soon, he'll bring about the nation's total destruction. Whatever spectacle he has in store, I'm looking forward to seeing it. If that's what you're thinking. I knew it! Those are living, screeching wyverns! Hi again. It's me, Arn. Thanks to Lady Chiome's intel, we've learned that the kidnapped elves have been transported to the Holy Revlon Empire. So, we're currently heading in that direction. Uh, now we know why the Whispering Fowls reluctant to fly. 
We won't be able to contact Donka for quite a while. If that's the case, huh? perhaps we should disperse the winged beasts. Disperse them how? such an explosive outcome. It's fine. Let's just move on. We've got bigger fish to fry. Mm -hmm. If we start here, we'll be taking the shortest route. After crossing the Shipital River, we'll pass through the Fabian marshlands until we've reached the Empire. Mm, this map's not very detailed, especially around the border town of Kasich, or the routes leading in or out. Lady Ariane. Is there something you're not telling me? Uh. After Lady Chiyome brought us the intel, I noticed a change in you. It seems you've suddenly become reluctant to visit the Empire. You're right. Unlike in Rodin, elf capture isn't banned. It's perfectly legal inside the Empire. Just by being an elf, every moment will become a waking nightmare. Even being here in this border town, I'm on high alert. I'll admit, I'm a bit nervous. May I interject? <laughs> you two. You're responsible for the lightning storm in the desert this morning, aren't you? Indeed, twas us. And you are? My name is Carsey. Carsey Hell, in fact. It comes... <laughs> Why would you openly display your ears in the middle of this human town? You're being too careless. <laughs> Lady Orion, calm yourself. Hey there, Carsey. What do you have, your usual? Yes. I will, thanks. <gasps> you got it, hun. It's gonna be a few minutes. Cakes ain't gonna change themselves. Well, if it isn't Monster Man Carsey, you fancy a flagon with your old pals? Of course, I'd love that. Wait, what's going on here? If you let me go, I can explain everything. I've grown very fond of this town and its people. At this point, I've come to know just about everybody. I've been living here for the better part of ten years. Ten years? In a human town? But how? That's not... I'm guessing you're an elf, right? No, wait. My money's on a dark elf. I'm not quite sure what kind of answer you expected. I'd relish a world where men and elves could coexist. Who's to say that's not the way it should have been from the very beginning? You've got to be kidding me! Think about it! Do you even understand the atrocities humans put our people through? Yeah, you've got a point. However, you're a dark elf, and you're comfortable enough to travel with a human in full plate armor by your side. When you add a spirit creature to the mix, it makes for a unique band of adventurers. <sighs> Arc is... Arc's different. Now then, Sir Carsey. What is it you wanted with the three of us? Right. I'm a monster biologist and make my living studying fauna. But now, I'm having much greater difficulty wrangling my usual specimens. If I may, you'd like us to help you capture these monsters, right? Very perceptive. I believe the two of you are more than strong enough for the job. All else fails, I'll simply need you to recover the bodies for me. I wish we could be of help, but unfortunately, we've got more pressing matters to attend to. Would this qualify as sufficient payment? Uh, what is that? 
It's a detailed map of the Holy Revlon Empire. Hey, were you snooping? Snooping or not, you need it, don't you? Lady Aurea, a detailed map of the Empire could prove useful. And to sweeten the deal, I can throw in a copy of my Monster Studies manual. <laughs> that book! I strongly desire that! What do you say? Can we do it? I have a mighty name! Yes, I suppose so. Yes, let's do it. Leave it to us. I had a feeling we'd see eye to eye on this. We'll set out tomorrow morning. I'll meet you at the town entrance. Be seeing you tomorrow. Hey, you guys miss me? Took you long enough, Carsey. Ready to drink? Barkeep! Will five gold coins cover our lodgings for the night? What? One gold coin is more than enough. You wait right here, okay? I'll break those down. No, madam. Keep it. I insist. Now, if you'd be so kind, would you allow me to take my food to my room? Well, why not? Matter of fact, take this, too. This whole barrel is yours. It's the good stuff. Should suit even the finest knights such as yourself. Oh, I'm humbled. Elves and humans. Coexisting. Huh. You seem to have trouble with this notion. A bit, yes. It's tough. I can't stop thinking how they have mistreated my people. That's a problem for the ages. We mustn't dwell on it now. This smells lovely. And extremely potent, I'd say. No need to force yourself. There's some fresh fruit juice in the basket. Hey, don't you dare treat me like a child. It's just liquor. Oh. <laughs> How's that? Oh, chugged like a true champion. And I'm ready for the next round. Oh, apologies for the delay. She's waggling her ears? Allow me, bottoms up. Oh. 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 There's an abundance of pure sweetness, as well as delicate warmth of vanilla. Every sip is distilled bliss. It's so good. Definitely on the strong side. Nothing happened. You would tell me if it did, wouldn't you? 
You know, proprietress, little else compares to the ferocity of a woman freed from restraint. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> Please forgive our tardiness, Sir Carsey. Oh, no problem. Well then, now that you're here, you two will be joining me in the front wagon. And my friend here, he'll ride a few paces behind us. <laughs> Understood. Sounded like you two had a delightfully vigorous time last night. I'm pretty sure the whole town heard you. I'll kill him. Lady Orion, no! sickness and a hangover are a bad combo. Yeah, and the cart behind us, it's just making things worse. What a sickening aroma. Sir Carsey, what goods are you hauling in that cart? No, oh, well, you see, they're goblin carcasses. Those corpses make the perfect bait to lure out the sandworm. The more pungent the stench, the more effective they'll be. What of this sandworm creature you mentioned? Right. We're gonna try to capture it. Hmm. Sir Knight, here. Hmm. This ought to pep you up. That tea works wonders for hangovers and motion sickness, too. Oh, you have my thanks. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> are you still a little bit squeamish around humans, Arian? I wouldn't put it that way. Feel free to be at ease. My friend may look like your typical rapscallion, but he's a good guy. Hey, that hurts my feelings, Carsey. Don't expect any more freshly brewed tea from me. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Lady Aria. Huh? I must ask, Sir Carsey, how much do you know about this sandworm we're trying to track down? Ah, let's see. The specimen I'm currently tracking is quite large. At roughly four to five meters long, it spends its days resting underground, and during the evening and nighttime, it surfaces to scavenge for corpses. Since we're trying to capture it, it's important that you know it carries a weakness to flames, if it's possible. I'd like to avoid the use of fire outright. What's more, I've made another discovery. The sandworm has been gravitating toward flocks of wyverns. Oh. Interesting. We may have been right next to it yesterday. I'm confident I can use what knowledge I learned from this expedition. We could prevent numerous deaths in the future. That's the whole reason I started studying monsters to begin with. <laughs> Impressive! I would love to learn more. Regale me with your monster knowledge. Oh, it'd be my pleasure. Are you interested? This is absurd. Is there anything like big but Where's the cart and wagon? Oh, and it's also Carsey, stop! The wagons are all gone! The wagons are what? You call that four to five meters? That's very easy. Impossible. I didn't know they could get that big. It's mind-boggling. He's hurt. Lady Orion, stay back! Fire dance, I beckon thee! Search for the mighty first! Come on! It's supposed to be weak to fire. That didn't hurt it at all. No! Are you all right, Lady Orion? I think so. Leave this beast to me. Go, get him out. Right. You're quite powerful, aren't you? Hey, Ark, we're out of harm's way. Take him down. Understood. Now then. Time for a test of strength! This is bad. He 
can for our sword in that position. some assistance. I suppose that brings this matter to a fitting end. Now, we must go, Lady Ariane. Lady Ariane. You mind if I ask you a quick question? Mm -hmm. Why would a smart elf like you choose to live among the humans? <laughs> because I love them, I guess. What? Because you love them? Yep. Things were different when I lived in an elf village. I have to admit, I didn't have the best opinion of the human race. However, once I started living alongside them, they weren't what I imagined. Now, I'm not saying it's always been easy. But I came around to the idea. Humans and elves can live in harmony. We may not be there quite yet, but soon. <sighs> A future like that. I can't see it. Is that so? I take it you haven't heard whispers of Lambert, then? Who is this Lambert? It's a port city in the west side of the Roten Kingdom. So, what about Lambert? I just heard the news the other day. The human lord of Lambert. He asked an elf for her hand in marriage. Wait. Uh, huh? How is that possible? Was she coerced? I bet she's being forced to marry him, isn't she? Oh, no. She was on the verge of being sold into slavery when the Lord set her free. Since then, it seems they've developed feelings for each other. I know you're apprehensive, but you'll be happy to hear that they've been vocal about improving human and elf relations. Maybe the reality of coexistence is closer than we think. Ark. That future, elves and humans. Do you think it's a possibility? Who's to say? I think both races are comprised of individuals with unique opinions. Perhaps not collectively, but many on both sides may choose coexistence. Much like you and I have. Yeah. Uh, is it really fair to call you a human when you're a skeleton wearing a suit of armor? Despite my appearance, I do consider myself to be mostly human. Hey, Ponta! How dare you side with her! <laughs> there are rumors swirling of town denizens disappearing into the night without a trace. I assume you were responsible for that? Are you suggesting I've been using anything other than slaves and crooks as feed? For the most part, anyway. What? You're getting too reckless. <laughs> Sir Fumba! <gasps> and this location is confidential, yet you bring your commoner whores. To what? Fraternize? What's going on in that thick skull? Huh? Yeah. What's the big deal? I get my work done, don't I? An Emperor Domitianus will my Such shit. brazen insolence! Do not utter his Imperial Highness's name! Oh, I'm sorry. So tell me. Weren't you the ones who came to me begging for my assistance? <laughs> and what of our planned attack? <laughs> you better keep up. Make 
sure you really chew your food before you swallow. You wouldn't want to get bones stuck in your throat, would you? swirling of town denizens disappearing into the night without a trace. I assume you were responsible for that? Are you suggesting I've been using anything other than slaves and crooks as feed? For the most part, anyway. What? You're getting too reckless! <laughs> Sir Fumba! <laughs> and this location is confidential, yet you bring your commoner whores to what? Fraternize? What's going on in that thick skull? Huh? What's the big deal? I get my work done, don't I? An Emperor Dimidianus won't mind Such a brazen insolence! Do not utter His Imperial Highness's name! Oh, I'm sorry. So tell me, weren't you the ones who came to me begging for my assistance? <laughs> and what of our planned attack? <laughs> you better keep up. must be the border town of Kasich, which means we've officially crossed over into the Holy Revlon Empire. What's up? It's your boy, Ark here. Word is, the kidnapped elves we're looking for were brought through this area. We managed to reach our destination, but... You can tell this town is part of the Empire. They've got everything buttoned up tight. Basically, anything out of place will likely draw attention from the guards. Searching for the elves is going to be difficult, but now we've got to be extra careful. From here on, we'll take the slow and steady approach. I say we split up. Explore, then rendezvous in the square before sunset. Hmm. Understood. What do you think? They're walnuts with honey. Pretty good. All right. Let's go over what we've managed to find out so far. Late at night, strange cries can be heard from the fortress over in the east. Monsters have been seen on the edge of the Empire's territory. Another ominous detail, several townsfolk have gone missing lately. This place is apparently not as secure as it looks. On top of all that, there's still no word on the kidnapped elves we're looking for. This might be harder than I thought, Ponta. Yeah. The sun is nearly set. Let's go. Lady Arion will be expecting us. <laughs> Got ya. Thought you could get away from us, huh? We gotta meet our quota, so let's make this easy. Don't stay away from me! Hey! It's no use putting up a fight! Your friends struggled the same as you, and a lot of good it ended up doing them. So you're the one going around kidnapping people? <laughs> Hold on just one minute. Can't you see you're frightening the young lady? Piss off! What do you care? Let go of me! You heard him! Mind your own business! Justice is served. Easy. You're safe now. Those ruffians didn't hurt you, did they? 
they would have if you hadn't shown up, Brave Knight. Thank you for saving me. I'm sorry you had to go through such a dreadful Ark, ordeal. Ark, who are you talking you to? Worry. I've got some terrific news. I tracked down a lead that should help us. Uh... <laughs> oh, there you are. Uh, mind telling me who this young lady is, my uh, new friend? I found these rogues attacking her. Whenever there's trouble, you can't help sticking your nose in and saving the day. If I'm able to help, you know I will. <laughs> Let me take a look. Right. Well, she doesn't appear to be that hurt. You should probably hurry along home now. I suppose. But I need to thank him first. <laughs> or you could do what I told you. Oh, right. What a great idea! They must have left her rattled. Did you see how fast she ran? I have to admit, I'm a bit embarrassed you had to trouble yourself finding me. I didn't mean to be an inconvenience. No, it's fine. You seem prickly. Was it something I said back there? I'm not prickly! Somehow I'm not convinced. Disappointing. You're saying the three of you fools seriously couldn't bring back any scraps? You must be joking, having a laugh at my expense. Believe me, sir, we would never! It was his fault she managed to get away! Huh? If anyone's to blame for her escaping, it's you, dumbass! God, you're insufferable. Well, looks like you boys are on the menu. If you... That shut you all up. Fare thee well. Sir, have mercy! Please, Mr. Bulldog! <sighs> Scary. Just sit tight a little while longer. I'll get a treat for you, my sweet. Something far tastier than those three. Four months ago. There were a number of elves brought to this fortress. Hmm. That was quite a while ago. It's likely they've been taken away already. Or, and I hate to say this, may have met a worse fate. I know. But we can't give up now. I'm willing to gamble that they're still alive in there. It was a boorish point for me to make. My apologies. <laughs> you found such precise intel. I didn't have any luck. Oh, that. After we split up, I found an informant. While a certain someone had their hands full rescuing a woman he barely knew. Excellent! Fortune smiles on us once again! <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> so, who is this informant? <laughs> Lenny Orion? What is it? Are you still feeling prickly? I never was! Terrible liar. <laughs> Seems nobody's here. Yeah, it's a little too quiet. If the intel was right, this is the spot. Are you sure? A hidden door. Do you smell that? That's the stench of beasts. Yeah. I'll take the one on the left. Leave the other to me. Uh -huh. Huh. I'd have caught until Fox get all the way down here. Huh? You're going to pay for that! It's no use. The door won't budge. Allow me. Oh, it slides open. Hidden passages I get, but this? Uh, 
The smell is getting more intense. Yes. It appears we found some underground prison. But where are the prisoners? It's a tuft of animal fur. Hopefully it belongs to a relatively normal creature. <laughs> so I decided to investigate. Who the hell are you two? Stay behind me. It's getting to be around that time when I serve the big one as dinner. I really don't need this. Ooh, ooh. Well, speaking of meals, look at the generous portions on you. Shut up, who are you? Not important. All you need to know is you're mine from now on. So hurry up and kill off this rust bucket for me. What is he going on about? Let's make this quick and find out what he knows. What's gotten into you? You're attacking the wrong person! I pray there's no mistake on her part, Rust Bucket. It's all over. Pipe down and die already. Answer me. What have you done? Don't ask me. Didn't anyone teach you to pay attention in a fight? A woman like her will get you. She's fierce, ain't she? <laughs> She's a dark elf, and I hit the bloody jackpot! No wonder she can toss you around! Ah, oh, this'll be a cinch! Hurry up and finish him, girly! Something's clearly wrong with her. Has she been bewitched? If so... Of course! Good! What? The spell's unbroken! That's impossible! Lady Orion! Asleep. Typical. Yvine, uh, it's you. Come, get up so we can start your training. Uh, my training? Naturally. A warrior can't afford to be weak and unready, otherwise it might cost someone's life. I'm not. Or am I? Really? How do you expect to save anybody at your skill level? Uh. <sighs> Weakness is a sin. The frail exists only to be exploited. But they can escape that fate by becoming strong. There's no other way. If you want to protect the ones you love from the humans who cruelly subjugated our kind, now hurry and draw your sword. And prove to me you have what it takes to be a true warrior. On curse! On curse! On curse! It doesn't make sense! How come I'm not able to break the spell? Snap out of it, Lady Orion! This spell doesn't work on her. Whatever's going on, none of my magic is effective against it. And I doubt he's doing any casting himself. A stowaway! If that's the game we're playing, spell on her. Huh. For a walking pile of scrap, you're awfully perceptive. You've impressed me, and so I'll reward you with a prize. 
I happen to be a Rosambanya monster sorcerer. You may call me Fumba Sudu Rosambanya. Monster sorcerer? While under my control, they perform whatever task I desire. You know, there's not many like me running around, which makes me something of a rarity. And good luck finding somebody as skilled at what they do as me. I can control any damn creature you can think of. I'm the ultimate beastmaster! So he has mastery over beasts. A monster tamer! Wait a sec. Could it be the same one? Not like it matters if you believe me or not. Doesn't change the fact. You're still gonna end up being dinner. Satisfy my curiosity. Okay. About four months ago, a group of elves should have been brought through this town. Where are they? Elves, you say? We get all sorts of types around here, and you're expecting me to... Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Since your memory's returned, this should be simple. Tell me what you know. Those long-eared freaks are gone. They're what? Most of them ended up getting used as test subjects in the Empire's magical experiments. You want to talk brutal? I can't compete with those vicious bastards. Still, if any were left over, you can bet your ass I made sure they were taken good care of. Come to think of it, the last one I had made quite a final impression, screaming their head off about how they were going to murder me. They sure quieted it down after I fed each one of their limbs to my precious little friend here. That was funny as hell! <laughs> Since I first arrived, I've seen my fair share of scum and villainy. But despite it all, I've always been able to remain calm. Until I met you. You've awakened my rage! Ha! <laughs> You're acting like I should give a rat's ass. You need to do more killing before you start pretending you're a genuine threat. Because I've got an entire menagerie left to throw at you! A collection of ogres, giant basilisks, other monsters, some I've never seen before. Doesn't matter, they're still outmatched. <laughs> You've got balls! Let's see how you fare with a chunk taken out of you. Attack! Who provided her with the intel? 
Unfortunately, not all the details of the plan were related to me. Lady Arion was feeling quite prickly at the time. What's this word, prickly? Uh, huh? Why is the entire dungeon shaking? Oh, oh, oh. oh, seems like he's awake now. You see, whenever his dinner doesn't arrive promptly, he gets a little riled up. <laughs> Unbelievably perfect timing. Why do you say we continue this discussion outside? I'll even give you the honor of witnessing my masterpiece. That is if you can make it out of here alive. <laughs> Wait! Sir Ark! We need to get her to safety first. Monster with complete mastery over water magic. Alive? I'm glad 
the shield is able to activate in time. You deflected an attack that could destroy an entire cliffside? With a shield? Just who in the world are you, Sir Ark? <laughs> Merely a traveling mercenary hired by Lady Arion. Wait, she should have teleported with us. Lady Arion! Lady Arion! Where are you? <laughs> oh! You're awake. Very much so. I wasn't able to control my actions back there. A layer of illusions were being cast and twisted, stealing my sense from me. But I could still hear every word he said. I know the crimes he's guilty of. Come along, Ark. Shall we find him together? When we do, we'll make him regret ever being born for making me angry. But more importantly, what he's done to my kin. Uh, yeah. If you want my help stopping that rogue, you've got it. As long as he controls that Hydra, he's too big a threat to be ignored. Since he's convinced we were killed in the blast, we have the advantage. It'll provide the perfect opportunity for an ambush. Ark, let's go. What's wrong? That monster is still heading towards the town. It must be stopped. Little can be done now. This beast has a grisly reputation for a reason. It destroys nations like an unyielding force of nature. There's no way. Forgive me, but I have to disagree. <sighs> Nothing can be done to stop earthquakes and cyclones. But a living being can be killed. Well, I mean, technically that's true. And you believe you are the one who can do it? But of course. You! Chiyome, you and I are going to find that bastard. Uh, sure thing. Ark, <laughs> take care of it. Holy Emperor Domitianus, I have an update on the current situation. The Ruiner of Nations has grown, just as expected, and I'm pleased to report we'll soon be ready to decimate anyone who dares stand in our way. Ah, what other news have you brought me? As you're well aware, we've been analyzing Fumba's sorcery to craft our own employ rings. Very soon, their construction will be complete. We still lack control over the Hydra, and unfortunately, require his abilities for a little while longer, Your Highness. All the same. I should decide what to do with him once he's no longer useful.
generation, as expected. How resilient. No wonder this creature made a lasting impact on mythology. I've never been in a situation where I had to use this specific magic before. Its power is unmatched, but it comes at a price. I'll only be able to summon this spell for a short amount of time. Shouldn't take longer than five minutes. I call upon you, Infernal Demon Ephraim! right because i have to kill you uh, look i get it sweetheart you're trying to show me how you're a tough cookie but you gotta learn not to be so cocky i'm cocky yeah clearly you've seen what my hydra can do compared to it you're less than a fart in the wind but you're still pretending like you're some big threat you do have a point the hydra is strong its powers beyond comprehension but that doesn't mean it's yours <laughs> without your monsters you're weak. Huh? What a joke! Need I remind you who the master of the bloody Hydra is? Please. In your weakness, you compensate by displaying that Hydra abomination. You have a trample over the powerless to try and hide how helpless you are. Because, Fumba, you are weakness incarnate. But first I'll need a demonstration. Think I'm helpless, huh? Those who are strong, who refuse to become conceited, the kind who don't hesitate to defend the powerless. They've taught me a great deal, and I'm lucky to have them in my life. Theirs is true strength, the kind I seek. You know what? You're pissing me off. Uh. Matter of fact, every last one of you is pissing me off. You better recognize! Let me show you how I deal with my critics! By crushing them all! <laughs> <laughs> You're pretty fast. They're faster. I hope this wasn't what you meant by crushing me. As if I would seriously fall for the same trick twice. All you did was prove my point. Lonely Elvish trash. I don't care who you are, no one looks down on me. But you'll change your tune after I let my Hydra take another shot at you. <laughs> huh? You stupid brat. The pattern. Just as I suspected, that elaborate pattern of cursed markings is what allowed you to exert control over the monsters. An impressive technique wasted on scum. No more. Because of their intricacy, the slightest damage causes interference. So he can no longer use his powers. Right. What have you done? Do you witches realize what this means? <laughs> Don't blame me for whatever happens now. Thanks to you, the Hydra's completely outside of my control. There's blood on your hands. Now nothing can stop that hungry serpent. <laughs> Don't worry. He's wrong, Chiyome. That monster won't kill again. Rest assured, it won't live to see the morning. Not with Ark around. Yeah, just hold on and take. <laughs> what the? I was only following whatever that damn emperor ordered me to do. Look, 
Look, I'll even apologize for all the elves that I ended up hurting. That won't bring them back or spare you. <laughs> so save it, and tell the people you killed how sorry you are when you see them. Wait, can we talk? You're finished. Come, fire, heed my call, consume all to ash! On second thought, I doubt you will ever come across them, seeing how I'm sending you straight to hell. See, the two of you are all right. Did you manage to settle your score? Yes. He's not coming back. But more importantly, Ark, is this a new traveling companion? They're a creature I summoned from another dimension. No worries. It should disappear any minute now. You don't believe in going halfway with anything. After that display of power, you'll be lucky if people don't start worshipping it as some sort of deity. Ha! <laughs> Doubt it! They'll never want to see a monster again. You kill you! Up there. It's a whispering bowel. Must be from Danka. It's me. I have some news. Go on. Concerning Rodin's second princess, Yuriarna. She came seeking negotiations and met with one of the great elders, Lord Fengus. To confirm, the Rodin Kingdom will take responsibility and continue with the search to find the rest of our missing kin? Yes, correct, Lord Fangus. Between the persecution of the Elvish people and the breaking of the peace treaty, the crimes of men are numerous. By the honor of the Rodin royal family, I will atone for them. Hmm. I will graciously accept your offer, Princess. However, and forgive my cynicism, I can't help but think that there's more than meets the eye to this proposal. My older brother, as you know him, the First Prince Sect, has managed to secure the backing of the Great Revlon Empire. Similarly, there was my other brother, the late Second Prince Dakares, who gained the Holy Revlon Empire's support. I'm aware of as much. To be blunt, when it comes to Eastern and Western Revlon, though they are at odds, they share a culture and history, one in which other races have faced constant oppression. Should a monarch loyal to either side ascend to the throne, I fear such injustice will persist, and the threat to the elves will only increase. As do I. In order to prevent suffering, it would be advantageous for our people to back you instead, to guarantee your succession and rule. You have my word. Should Revlon ever be bold enough to invade elvish territory, I can promise our kingdom will stake its survival on defending your lands. Ha <laughs> Well, imagine if I agree to this arrangement. Suddenly, a future where our two nations and people grow closer doesn't feel like such an impossibility. The terms of your offer sound good. You're mistaken, Lord Fangus. Uh -huh. I suppose you've already heard the news. How the Lord of Lambert has taken an elf as his wife. Mm. That's just the beginning. 
mutual coexistence between our two people, I'm pleased to say, may already be at hand. <laughs> you know what, Princess? Something tells me we'll be great neighbors. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. You've been awfully quiet. Is that because the news from Sudanka isn't sitting well with you? I imagine being dismissed from your duty so abruptly can be distressing. Well, yes. I devoted my life to rescuing our kin, but having it end so quickly feels very strange. I'm not quite sure what I should do anymore. Understandable. Oh, I'm not complaining, and I'm ecstatic an arrangement was worked out with Roden to take action to find the missing elves. It's just... I suppose I'm a little surprised that humans would go out of their way to help our people. Thank you. Still, you remember what Carsey said to us before, don't you? Humans and elves can live in harmony. We may not be there quite yet, but soon. To be honest, I didn't think there was a chance that day would ever arrive. He was right. Sir Carsey envisioned a promising future, and we're already seeing it take shape. I have the most peculiar feeling. Since the first time I met you, Ark, it's almost like the others and I... The entire world started to change, and in ways I could never predict. <laughs> you truly possess an overactive imagination, hey, Lady Ariel. Hey, I was being serious, and you're laughing? I mean, a world that punishes the wicked and where salvation is offered to the just? Sounds like a dream, but when Sir Ark's around, it feels like that's how it's always been. Like anything's possible. You're saying Yuryarna is still alive? Yes. Plus, she successfully negotiated with the elves. We have a real problem. She's on the verge of winning over the people's favor. And at this rate, the throne's hers. The assassination was a failure? No. Someone working by my side must have turned traitor and sided with Yuriarna. But no matter. <laughs> A minor setback, nothing more. To maintain Rodin's status, we will venture an alternate path. There's no getting past it. I was killed in that moment. But I still survived somehow. Which means there must be something left for me to accomplish in this world. Meaning, I must see to that goal without fear. Isn't that right, my guardian angel? And you're certain the Hydra was killed? Yes. As well as Fumba. I see. He proved useful to a point. I can't for the life of me understand why we kept him around after learning about the employ rings. Agreed. One matter remains. I am curious exactly who it was that slew the great beast. That was a huge sneeze. Are you sick? Just fine. Perhaps there was someone somewhere out there talking about me. Again, I'm not following. Right. Now that this matter has been brought to a successful close, I suppose I'll press onward, quietly, and conspicuously continue my adventures. Quiet, huh? And conspicuous? You're going to say all that with a straight face? After what you just pulled? No bones about it! <laughs> Great googly googly and something skeleton! <laughs> You're acting like you've seen a ghost. In a way, yeah. I forgot you've never removed your helmet in front of her. Apparently some kind of curse was placed on Ark that makes him look this way. Uh, you do believe me. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lady Aria, huh? what do you plan to do after returning to Lolatoya? Show you the way to the Lord Crown, of course. I did promise that I would guide you to the spring. What spring? The one that's able to break any curse. Don't tell me you forgot. Wait, it's coming back to me. The spring located right by the Dragon Lord's domain. How utterly fantastical. What fantastical mean? I just had a great idea. If at all possible, I would love to visit your ninja village, Lady Chiyome. Oh, actually go there. I mean, why not? You can rest your bones for a bit, you bet. Here we go, one last time. Hey, it's me, Ark. My 
journey began with a simple goal, to explore this world while living a quiet life. Even though my plan hasn't changed, I've got more friends than I started with. The question keeps rattling in my skull. How'd I get here? And so far, I haven't got a clue. But you know what? I'm not letting it bother me. Maybe I'll find the answer. But for now, I'm gonna enjoy myself. There are far more 